My next guest is a delightful actor you know from Lady Bird and Booksmart. She now stars in the Broadway revival of Funny Girl. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Beanie Feldstein. <laughs> Hey, kid, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing just fine. The last time we spoke with you in that chair was like September of 2018 or something like that. Yes. But you had a surprise appearance on the show about a year later. That I, I got a, a picture right here. A surprise to us all. Yes, you, <laughs> you were part of a, a Karen O and Danger Mouse's performance on this show, directed by Spike Jones, with a wrecked car on stage. And that's <laughs> you, right there. Yes. That and was me. It's kind of like go grease lightning, kind of. <laughs> totally. Kind of like. <laughs> but I had no idea you were here until I was about to introduce the song, and I turned around and you went, huh? <laughs> well, it's like, Beanie, what are you doing here? My question, exactly. I know. Um, I think your reaction was, mm. oh, um, How did that come about? So um, I'm lucky enough to know the incredible Spike, who filmed it all live. It was really amazing. Remember, it was like yeah. a live music video. Um, and Spike calls me and he's like, Bean, I have this idea. Karen's song is all about female empowerment. It's called Woman. And I, I'd really love for like all these women that, you know, aren't trained dancers to come together and be her backup dancers. Would you want to be a part of it? And I was like, what a gift. Oh my God, of course I would. This sounds dreamy. So he gives me the address. It's in Brooklyn. We have a day and a half of rehearsal and then we're live on your show. Sure. I get to the rehearsal and I walk in and all these girls are like lifting their feet above their head. <laughs> and I'm like, what's happening here? And we start rehearsing. I'm barely keeping up, Steven. And we have to take off Karen's jacket at one point in this sort of like cool reveal. And we're trying to figure out how to do it. And two of the girls look at each other and they're like, it's just like when we had to do it with B. You just take it. And I was like, these are Beyonce's dancers. <laughs> I am in a room with Beyonce's dancers um, expected to dance alongside them. They were all trained dancers, except for me. Sure. And they're not just dancers, they're Beyonce's dancers. Right. Um, and then and you just nailed the it. Bean, just a little you bean. crushed it, Bean. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, ready to be backup booty for Beyonce? <laughs> Next stop after Broadway, Beyonce's tour. Clearly, that's the next step for me. Now, from this Broadway stage uh, to, to another, you're playing Fanny Bryce in, in Funny Girl, which hasn't been mounted on Broadway. Yes. Iconic role. Hasn't been mounted on Broadway in 58 years. I'm not even 58 <laughs> yet. For the people out there who don't know Fanny Bryce, yeah. t tell them the significance of her. Yeah, Fanny Bryce, so many people don't even know that she was a real person, but she was a, a tremendously famous comic. She was born at the end of the 1800s, very popular in the 1920s, and um, she was this clown. She had these iconic characters named Baby Snooks and Mrs. Cohen. Um, she was this tremendous woman, and if it wasn't for Fanny Bryce, I believe that there is no Jewish woman on a stage today performing that would be there if it wasn't for Fanny. She really paved the way, she opened every door. Thank you, and she, um, thank you to her. And uh, she was, she's an incredibly unapologetic character, and that is something that is really inspirational to, to play every night. You know, she, we all know the songs, People, and Don't Rain On My Parade, and I'm the Greatest Star, and to get to embody them as her, um, she's just relentless in her pursuit of what she wants, and her belief in herself, which is a really, really beautiful thing to get to be inside of. This role was a star turn for Barbara Streisand. Who? No, she yes, for, her, <laughs> well, for Barbara Streisand. My queen. Exactly. Let's just make that and, clear. And, you know, she, she made this role famous, and in some ways this role made her famous. Yeah. What Has she said anything to you? Have you had any advice or anything? Yeah, so I was in my dressing room the night before first preview, and I got a piece of mail, and it just said for Beanie on it, and I opened it, and it was from Barbara Streisand, and it was, um... And you'd never heard from her before, you know? I'd never met her before, wow. um, and it was a really beautiful, touching thing that I will keep at my side of my table getting ready forever, and Ramin, who plays Nikki Arnstein, got me a beautiful frame for it, oh, and it's, lovely. it's been, yeah, I mean, 
It's from Barbra Streisand. I know. <laughs> I've never gotten a note from Barbra Streisand. You can borrow mine. Yeah. It's just one block how's over. Her how's her handwriting? Gorgeous, stunning. I mean, it's perfect. It's exactly what you would think it is. Um, is there anything about playing the role of Fanny Bryce that surprised you? Everything. I think the I think people's love for the show is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not shocking, but. Now that we're performing, we're in the second, we're about to be in the third week of previews, it's really thrilling to hear people's reaction to the mm -hmm. show. So, um... And also, Broadway audiences right now are also fantastic. Uh, people are so hungry delicious. to be back in the theater. Deli I mean, just like you. I mean, it's like... It's, it's insane. And, um... Ramin, who plays... Ramin, who plays Nikki Arnstein, who is... An angel. Um, we were doing the song You Are Woman, I Am Man, which is when Nikki is trying to seduce a very nervous Fanny and she's talking to the audience and uh, Nikki's very fancy and she doesn't know anything like that. So she's trying to figure out what's going on and he offers her pate. She doesn't know what it is. He hands it to her and she's trying to figure out what it is and finally she realizes it's just chopped liver. And as I'm coming to that realization, a woman in the front row says with me out loud, as loud as she can, chopped liver, like literally screams it at me. And it was, I mean, it took me by surprise. Sure. <laughs> for sure. sure. But it was amazing. I mean, it was amazing. It was, um, people really know the show in their guts. Well, I mean, you've done a lot of funny parts, but do you yourself, Beanie Feldstein, think of yourself as a funny girl? No. No? No. No, because but you're such a funny girl. That's very kind coming from you. No, yeah. um, the funniest girl. But uh, it is a... Uh... Thank you. I have, I have childbearing <laughs> hips. I'll grant you that. Thank you. Um, but uh, in my house, uh, I am like the maybe third to fourth funniest person in the house. And they really like to let me know it. So my mom and my brother, specifically my mom, is always like, you're not that funny. I don't understand. You get on the stage, something happens. I think it's the writing. The writing must be good. Because you're never funny at home. You don't make me laugh once. I'm like, OK, thank you so much. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, um, that's really not my thing in my family. So okay. it's nice to be it on 50 what Seconds. Is, what is your thing? What, what, what is your role you play? Are you peacemaker? Caretaker, or? I think. Think. Like okay. the caring, like this, this, like sweetie caring one. I think. Okay. More See, than... those people, then, 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 those people can take the funny and put it on stage because they have yeah. to take care of the audience. Exactly. 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 You're the funny. You're the funny. Girl. <laughs> funny girl is in previews now and opens April 24th on Broadway at the August Wilson Theater, starring Beanie Feldstein. Everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Chance the Rapper.